So for anyone that's new to the channel, I'm going to be going through some Redbubble shops, reviewing them, seeing what people are doing wrong that they could do better, telling them what they're doing right that they can do more of, and overall just trying to help you guys make more money. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new to the channel, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give tips and tricks on how you guys can better your print on demand shops online. So that could be Redbubble, that could be TeePublic. I base everything that I teach you guys off my own experiences. Today though, we have the sixth episode of my Redbubble shop reviews. And if this is something that you guys have been enjoying so far, or if you're new to the channel, Channel, if it's something you want to see more of a like rating would be very much appreciated if we can hit 150 plus likes I will bring another episode a lot of shops have been submitted so far so I have a lot of shops to go through for anyone that wants their shop to be reviewed a lot faster I do coaching calls where I'll jump in a call with you and I'll literally help you find designs help you figure out what you need to do better so if you want any more information on that that's linked down in the description and if you're looking for information that's completely free i have a starter guide that i put together with the information that i used when i first started with sites like redbubble to get my first few sales that's linked down in the description and alongside for anyone that's looking to make this more of a full-time thing and take it more serious i have a paid course that will pretty much fast track you to print on demand success and allow you to maximize your sales so all of that is down in the description with that said like i said today we have episode six of the shop reviews if you're new to the channel and you haven't already hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos subscribing will instantly make you a member of the tmg community and the tmg community right now is on top over on the facebook group we have people getting sales down in the comments we have people getting sales so this is definitely a community you want to be a part of i won't take too much more of your time let's jump straight into the shop reviews right guys you know how it is i've jumped onto my pc i'm now on redbubble and i'm going to be reviewing some of your shops a lot of you guys have been sending me messages over on my Instagram, submitting your shop links. I just want to say thank you for everyone that's sending them in. It helps with obviously these videos and I'm more than happy to review your shops and to help you guys out as well. Because then that way, obviously, we're bringing content to help others besides just helping the one shop as well. Nevertheless, I'm going to jump straight into the first shop for today's episode. And we have Maria Gonzalez's shop. If I'm right in saying this, this is Mappy's channel. Mappy knows who she is. She's very regular on the channel. I'm always seeing her in the comments. But yep, a shop so far, I'm just going to say it looks insane. Banner looks fairly creative. It's a good mixed up banner. There's a lot of different things going on there, but it goes with the vibe of the shop. Looking at the logo and then looking at the banner, it's just very creative. It's good to see she's got some nice artwork in there. The thing that kind of jumps out at me the most though is the amount of designs she has. She has 640 designs. She's not playing around. I usually say the standard of amount of designs you want to be hitting before reviewing how well your shop is doing is 100. She is times six over the limit. She's doing amazing so far. I'm just gonna have a quick look at some of her designs and uh, we'll see obviously if there's anything that needs improvement there. Straight off, I can see she's got collections and she's got a lot of stickers going on there, which is always great to see. Stickers are the easiest way uh, to bring yourself in some sales. So it's good to see that. She's got a lot of different colorful stickers. Uh, she's got a lot of things going on there. This uh, psychedelic design would probably be good on something like a mask. Um, that I wouldn't say is a sticker based design, but nevertheless, it looks good. She's using the sticker method and I, adv I always advise to use the sticker method because that is what will bring you sales. So, so far, so good. Um, just gonna scroll through the rest of the first page, have a look to see what we're seeing here. A lot of cool designs. I'm not seeing many sticker packs though. Not seeing many sticker packs here, Mappy. What's going on? Let's have a scroll back to the top. I might have missed some. 
Right, so, okay, this is kind of like a sticker pack. There's two dogs there. But yeah, she could make use of more sticker packs. Uh, now, Maria, your shop looks amazing. You have a great build of designs in regards of your portfolio. Over 640 designs is amazing. It's, it's insane, if you ask me. You're more than prepped and ready for Q4, so it's great to see. If you're struggling or you just wanna increase your sales even more, I would suggest that you create more sticker packs. I'm pretty sure you know what sticker packs are because obviously you watch the videos, but for anyone who doesn't watch the videos or who's watching me for the first time, sticker packs allow you to have more than one item on a design. So if a customer is buying one sticker in a sticker pack, they could potentially get four or more stickers. Uh, I've made a full video talking about this, uh, which is titled on the sticker hack. I'll link it down in the description for anyone who hasn't seen that as well. And I actually have a sticker, sticker pack template. Don't know why I'm struggling to speak there. I have a sticker pack template that's currently for sale for like one pound, which is maybe $1.50, I don't know, roughly around there. It's cheap, it's pretty much nothing and it will help you pretty much maximize your sales. This is for anyone who doesn't already know what a sticker pack is. I'm sure Maria's seen the videos. She's been around for long enough to have seen that. But yeah, just to help other people out, all the information in regards to sticker packs, the video, sticker pack template down in the description. As for Maria, so far the shop, you know, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to click on a design. We're going to have a quick look in regards of how she titles, tags, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So she's titled this grey hair. Uh, oh no, a grey hair. Okay, no, that makes sense. I mean, it goes to the design. And uh, when you go over to her, tags gray hair crying woman's female funny pop funny things for grandma for older people great for old people old people older age classic right okay yeah she's got the tag game strong she's not using too many tags as well i would say this is under 20 tags if not 20 i'm not i've not counted but just from face value that's what it looks like to me and uh, besides that, let's see how many products she has activated. You guys know by now, that's like my favorite thing to check because you know it causes a big difference when it comes to increasing your chances to actually get sales. Uh, this item is available on 78 products as I can see here. I don't know if you guys can see it, 78 products. That means she's got either all, everything, if not nearly everything activated. So I mean, Maria, your shop is fire. I'm not gonna lie, your shop is really, really good. For anyone that's struggling to get sales, that wants, that wants an idea of what you need to kind of create in regards of shop, the appearance, what Maria's done is a good example of that. The only thing that I would recommend for her to do more of is sticker packs, as it would definitely boost up her sales. She's got the portfolio, which is probably allowing Redbubble to push her page to more people. If she then throws sticker packs in the mix, her profits are gonna increase like crazy. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this shop. Jumping straight onto the next shop, we have Joseph Liverpool. The shop, I think, is called A Touch of Inspiration. I like the way the banner looks. I'm seeing spices. I'm seeing like a kitchen. I don't even know what to call that. Like a tabletop. There's a, there's a name for it. A place in the kitchen that things go on top of. That's what I'm seeing. Anyway, the banner looks nice. The logo doesn't match the banner, which messes with me a little bit. I mean, that's something uh, this shop might need to change or might need to work on, you know, matching up the banner to the logo. It just helps with the branding of the shop. Design wise, I can see here, Joseph has 88 designs. You guys who've been watching my videos know that I'm always saying it's important to hit 100 designs before you can actually analyze how well your shop is actually doing. For anyone that is new, that's something you need to do. Creating 100 designs allows you to build a solid foundation to get you pretty much started in seeing what people are actually clicking on in regards of what's bringing them to your shop. Uh, so yeah, 100 designs is definitely needed. Uh, going through the shop, there's a lot of nice sticker designs. I like how they've created a seasonal collection and it's just, it's very eye-catching. 
so I like how they've created that I can see here they've got some of the designs on shirts they've got some uh, these are like they're not posters uh, but they're like um, I can't even remember what these what these are called let's just go and call them frame pictures yeah frame pictures but I, I see why uh, he has these frame pictures because you know there are people that do buy beach and ocean related things so not that is very understandable I'm seeing greetings cards always good to see especially in preparation for Q4 greetings card are always good to go with I'm seeing more and more different designs there's a lot of stickers there uh, this design here it looks like it could be so close to being a sticker pack but obviously because uh, the designs or the images on the design that I attached it doesn't then come off as a sticker pack but this is something that they could easily turn into a sticker pack by just creating more spacing between the images I like the design on the shop uh, I would say one thing they might need more of is stickers or even for example here uh, they're showing a bed duvet if they wanted to increase the chances of selling bad duvets uh, it's always good to put as your front image something like a tapestry that opens up that allows people to see a full image so if they're looking to get sales on something like a comforter if they're putting a tapestry as a front image here it might actually bring people more in uh, causing them to buy things like the comforters as well i'm seeing mugs They've actually got their mugs showing nicely, which is always good to see. I mean, as a whole, the shop looks nice. I don't have too much to say, that's, or I don't have anything negative as much to say about the shop. Uh, I would say, obviously, they could work on creating more sticker packs, more sticker-related designs. If they are already getting sales, I'll quickly check the favorites. They've got 31 favorites. Uh, if they're already getting sales, and what they're doing is working so Joseph what you're doing is already working and you're getting sales uh, just start doing more sticker packs and uh, try to hit a hundred designs if you're struggling to get sales or if you're not yet over 10 sales I would say for you to put most of your designs to show up as stickers even these images here uh, well with these images you could even try to put them up as posters because posters uh, do quite okay when it comes to uh, images such as ocean related beach wave related so you can change these to posters and then also use a lot of stickers alongside that that should get you in the race get you in the game and get you actually bringing in some sales for yourself I'm just gonna click on one of these designs I like summer so I'll click on the summer design and let's see how he's titled it so it's fairly simple uh, it's gone with the same wording as on the design summer lover summer lover on the text uh, let's quickly look at the tags before we look at the activated items nature hot sun summer lover trees family collection simple touch inspiration I mean um, if you've got a name in the tags you don't have to have your name in your tags once again unless you're sharing your shop with people uh, there's a few more things you can do there in relation to your tags your tags just need to be worked on a little more and uh, I would recommend uh, you look around at shops that are similar to yours and see what they're doing in tags um, in regards to tags I talk about that more in my paid course I'm not gonna go too much into detail here but your tags just need a tad bit more work uh, in regards of your activated designs you have this uh, item available on 84 products so you've pretty much activated everything so yeah Joseph you've got the ball you know what you're doing you just need to boost up your shop with more designs and um, try to activate or not even activate try to upload and set your front image for most of your products as stickers for the normal designs and for the beach vibey related designs posters uh, that should help your sales to start increasing and to start rising bit by bit uh, next we have daybreak again so nice looking shop it's very bright i like how it kind of jumps out at you um in regards of the logo 
I mean, it's not too far from the banner. I guess you could say they do kind of match because it's a picture that goes onto like a very colorful background. So in a weird way, it works. So and not too many complaints there. Design wise, 86 designs. Once again, guys, I mean, I say this every time, 100 designs needs to be hit. It might not be easy, but it's definitely worth it because it allows you to start analyzing your shop effectively. I've said it once, I'll say it again, and I'll probably say it even more times in the future. 100 designs needs to be hit for sure. Uh, I'm seeing masks, I'm seeing nice, really, really nice pattern designs. And uh, as I go through, no masks, some stickers there. Uh, some stickers I'd say need maybe a little bit more work. Uh, this design, for example, uh, I got so I'm I, I got so I'm a human. It's a nice concept in regards of what it says, but as I'm on the page now looking at it, I'm struggling to see what the text says. So if someone was actually considering maybe buying this kind of shirt or was on your shirt on your shop looking at your designs they might not even click on this this might not bring attention to them so i would recommend that you use a bold font for example impact if you use this site here i've just brought on the screen let me just accept and close this site will give you a, ver a varied range of fonts you just click on the theme and there'll be a lot of different ones the one i suggested is impact fairly thick font that stands out uh, should show up so this is kind of style of impact it's kind of like this it stands out you want to use a lot of font that stands out as that pretty much attracts people to that design uh, because it kind of brings their attention to it uh, besides that I can see yet yeah, there's more designs there where you might need thicker fonts uh, I like this dolphin design you could easily make this in, into a sticker pack by trying to create or pretty much less dolphins on the image and then separating them a bit more which is fairly easy to do and we have more patterns here which you can see other cool designs I'm seeing a lot of stickers I'm not seeing too many stickers. I mean, you've got a lot of patterns, so you know, you've done well putting the patterns on masks, on backpacks, definitely good to see. Try to create more um, sticker packs as well, as well as text related designs with thicker fonts. That would definitely help your shop. Uh, looking at the favorites, uh, I can see it's still pretty much building up the shop. So yeah, it's very, very important to make sure that with your text related designs, for example, people of color for Biden, you could put that onto a sticker. As a sticker, this will have a higher chance of actually selling or maybe even as a poster, but in fact, forget the poster thing. Uh, the poster thing is mainly for nature pictures, but as a sticker, this would probably sell a lot better. And here I'm seeing a greetings card. Once again, greeting cards do very very well but what you want to be doing here is using dimensions that allow this image to fill up the whole greetings cards because i know for a fact that you didn't put up this image with the black background on it you've probably put it with the color text you've selected black for all your products and because the dimensions on your designs don't fill up the greetings card it's caused the white spots so the perfect dimensions to fix that for yourself would be uh, a length of uh, it's if I'm correct in saying 7100 length and then a width of 5000 and they're the pixels you want to be creating designs for to fill up things like posters and greetings cards so yeah I'm just gonna click on any random design I'll click on this backpack that looks pretty cool uh, let's see how you've titled it or you've activated it on and I uh, will go from there anytime today will be nice <laughs> sometimes it likes to take its time to load but yeah we'll let that load let's have a quick look so in regards to the backpack title a seamless background animal ab abstract pattern and then print backpack nice title i don't think you can see the full title on the screen i'm sorry about that guys but the title is a pretty good title 
uh, not too many complaints I mean it looks really nice uh, the pattern itself looks to be have been applied to everything it's saying plus 78 product which uh, leads me to believe that there's hidden items that have not been activated so all you want to do is just go into your manage portfolio go into your edit and then go on every product product and see if everything is enabled because there might be a couple of things that are not enabled but you're very very close to the full amount so that's always good to see i always compliment that in regards of the tags seamless animal animal pattern animal background cute animal pattern animal right animal in terms of the tags i mean you're killing it you know what you're doing there definitely know what you're doing so yeah keep that up with the tags the only thing this shop needs to do more of is to upload more designs focus on more stickers as that will help to bring the initial sales i can see that they're looking into trends so they need to keep that up and the sales will come and now we've gone to reishi 13 and i'm welcomed for sure i can see the banner says welcome definitely welcomed um in regards of the banner though i'd always say create something that matches your logo it stands out which is always good uh, but i'll try your best to make it match your logo if you want to put your logo or your profile picture as yourself that usually works with either nature related backgrounds or just a real life background if that makes sense if you're going to create like a text-based design uh, that stands out like that you might need maybe a profile picture or logo that's also colorful in a similar way uh, it's just something to bear in mind in regards to your designs you're smashing it you're over 100 219 uh, i can definitely tell that you're obviously working hard on cranking out the designs definitely keep doing that uh, you can easily use google analytics uh, to analyze which of your designs are getting the most clicks and are bringing people in to your shop and once you find what those designs are i would also recommend to create more of those types of designs as that is what will allow your shop to be successful to move forward and to get more sales uh, looking at the collections got trippy collection here and various other collections always good to see collections i'm seeing sticker packs the sticker pack might need a little bit of work though because I can see that they are attached. So on something like this, I'd recommend maybe less hearts. If you have less hearts, you can spread them out a little bit more and uh, you have a effective sticker pack. Uh, greetings cards, seeing Merry Christmas. I mean, you're getting prepared for, the, for Q4. I like to see that, you know, you can't go wrong with Q, uh, preparing for Q4. That is where most of the sales are gonna come and if you are not already preparing for q4 definitely do that i mentioned this in my last video for anyone who's new to the channel check that video out it will open your eyes to a lot of big things a lot of people uh, actually go past without even realizing i'll link that in the description in fact i'll pop it up on the screen somewhere but if it doesn't pop up it'll be down in the description going through the shop i can see text related designs uh, black sticker one nice more text related designs just try to create another sticker pack uh, i'd advise it to put less on the sticker pack so this sticker pack i'm counting three six nine eleven dogs if you had maybe six to eight dogs you could space them out more and then the stickers wouldn't be and then the images wouldn't be attaching to each other in a sticker if that makes sense uh scrolling through what else have we got here got a lot of masks a lot of cool looking designs a lot going on the on the shop it's very bright which is always uh, good to see red bubble the one of the main selling products is stickers i'm seeing she's using stickers she's using bright stickers uh the main thing she would probably need to work on is with the sticker packs just create more spacing uh, but to keep up the hard work because I can see obviously she's got 219 designs and maybe you look to work on either the profile picture or the banner as well I'm just going to click on a design to see what the title was saying how the tags have been put and what has been activated so I'll just let that load up 
and as we get into it which should hopefully be soon this this size to actually load up for us uh we've got what would lord henry do fairly simple quoted as in the design as we scroll down have a quick look at the tag story in gray dark academia i hope i said that correctly hedonism lord henry i'm guessing these are all tags to do with this design uh definitely double check double check wow i'm struggling to speak today definitely double check uh your tags with a trademark checker i'll link the video that shows how to do all that in the description to make sure that they're safe to use because you do not want to create ticking time bomb tags because they could lead to your design getting taken down or even worse your shop getting taken down so be careful with that in regards of activated designs only available on 56 products that 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 actually hurts me a little bit it hurts you need to activate everything i know it might not be easy at first it might be time consuming but activating on everything is the game changer there's certain designs that will sell on things you wouldn't you wouldn't have expected them to sell on because people will buy things you don't expect to so definitely activate on more products and bear bear in mind everything else i've mentioned in regards of the shop you're doing well in regards to the designs but work on the little things and you see that the sales will start to come in a lot more frequently and then finally we've got particular i love the name i love the play on words i love the design it's blue on pink weirdly it works i mean i would say make it matching but i don't know why it weirdly it weirdly works for me but yeah for you know the general public or general market of people that actually come into red bubble and look at shops I would say try to match up your logo color to your banner color for some weird reason here it works but in the spectrum of things try to match try to match them up uh, yeah, I can see you've got 41 designs need to hit that 100 work hard I know it's not easy I know not everyone has all the time in the world you might be creating designs whenever you do have time but do your best to put in a little bit of extra work to hit that 100 design you definitely won't regret it um seeing uh, mugs uh obviously i see what you've tried to do you've obviously put the picture on the mug and red bubble has done its thing and pushed it to a side where people can't see i'm gonna have a video coming up very soon showing you guys how you can easily fix that because it's a problem that i'm seeing a lot of people have been facing i've been meaning to do a video about that for a while uh, but in the next few days or so so in my next two uploads you should see a video in regards of that uh, so just going through the shop i'm seeing a variation of products i'm seeing duvets i'm seeing laptop covers so i'm seeing floor mats i'm seeing a lot of different things let's see how many favorites are here so it's got 15 favorites so definitely in need of um, a, a makeover that's the word i was looking for the shop definitely needs a makeover what you want to do when you're going through this makeover firstly stickers stickers are your best friend when you're trying to bring attention to your shop stickers will do that because they're low enough in price for people to potentially click and buy from you in comparison to other people use sticker packs in conjunction with stickers especially when you're struggling to get sales as that will make your designs and your products more attractive to people than people that are not using sticker packs do your best to make sure that uh, in regards of your design like i said mostly using stickers and on things such as this you put it on posters posters are really underrated but they will get you sales here and then you know they'll surprise you so definitely be using things like posters and uh, preparing for q4 which is the fourth quarter for those who don't know greetings cards go a long way they definitely help so oh definitely look into creating more things like that on your journey to 100 
designs i'm gonna quickly click on a random design i don't know what i'm speaking with but yeah i'm gonna quickly click on a random design and i uh, will go from there uh so to, to, to keep your distance we'll click on this this is something that will definitely look fairly okay on a sticker so i'll definitely recommend that they look into stickers because stickers like i keep saying are a game changer and they will help the shop uh let's it actually uh, really looks nice as a floor mat it's just not that many people buy floor mats uh which is unfortunate already before i've even got to the tag i can see it's available on 65 products you guys already know what i'm gonna say activate on everything do not miss out a single product even the six secret products look at the little numbers next to enabled you want to make sure that the numbers are the same if it says for example 9 out of 12 that means three things aren't activated you want it to be the same so to say 12 out of 12 instead of 9 out of 12 or however many designs they are you want the two numbers to be the same it shows that everything on that particular prod product is activated so do your best to take out some time to do that and then moving forward with your future designs if you're pretty much copying the settings the products will be activated already going forward which will make things a lot easier for yourself as i get onto the tags let's have a quick look social distancing keep your distance virus quarantine social distance coronavirus COVID 19 a lot of uh, tags in relation to the happenings of the world don't say it because i don't say it mainly because youtube has this thing where when people speak about that bad things happen uh so tags you know you've done fairly well in the tags there's a few things that i'll change there have a look at what other people that are creating similar designs are doing as tags take that as your research slash homework in regards of bettering your tags and trust me it will help a lot more than you think the shop i can see that you're pushing hard to build it up in the right way which is always good to see and once again i love the name in particular the way you've played with words there is amazing but yeah we're going to end it on this shop for today i hope you guys have enjoyed the shop reviews i'm going to obviously finish over on the camera but if you've made it this far already thank you very much if you want to see another episode i'll probably say this again when i jump onto the camera if you can drop a like that would be very much appreciated let's jump over to the camera Woo! if you've made it to the end of the video you are amazing i always get to this point and i'm really excited because you're still watching nevertheless if you're here and you're still watching down in the comment section put down more reviews that lets me see that you guys want to see more of these reviews a like rating once again would be very much appreciated if we can hit 150 plus likes i will surely be bringing you guys an episode seven but yeah that's it for today always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success i didn't really have to lift up the shirt there but yeah manifest success <laughs>